Hi there, welcome to Sunnyside Journals. Welcome to 30 minutes of my day. Now, I know I said that I was going to try and get in the habit of maybe posting Tuesdays and Saturdays. Um, and today's Friday. But I have a thrift haul. It's really not 30 minutes of my day. I have a little thrift haul I want to do. I want to do a little update. Uh, oh, who am I kidding? It's 30 minutes. Happy Friday, everyone. I hope you had a good week. I had a wonderful week. I um, I spent four wonderful days with Nancy from Wishes and Weeds, and I had a hoot. It was so much fun, and we were able to get a lot of work done and a lot of laughing done, and um, yeah. It was, and we got some thrifting done too. Even uh, on the final day, we had to be out of the cottage. Hold on, I'm just getting some stuff because it's all the thrifty stuff. On the final day of the cottage, cottage, pardon me, um, we had to be out by 11. So we thought, let's just, we're packed up, let's get out. We'll go thrifting and we I wanted to go to a there was a scrapbooking store in Belleville so I wanted to go to the scrapbooking store and then we had a little bite of lunch and then we we bid each other a fond farewell <laughs> and uh, yeah but we uh, we did decide it was a lot of fun and we will have to do that again because it was just a lot of fun so, and I came home to some happy mail and a happy hubby and, uh, it, as ever, it's always good to be home. So, um, I'm going to show you, I, I, I didn't get a whole lot when I went, went thrifting, but, um, in my defense, I am being a little bit choosier now, especially about what books I get, because I, I definitely have enough books to keep me to keep me in business for a long, long, long time. So I don't need to, I, I, I can, I can take my time and look them over now and, and go, yes, this one I like, or put them back. Anyhow, I found uh, a nice, a nice ivory colored lace that I like very much. Um, we missed Seniors Day at Value Village, but uh, Nancy had coupons, so we got 20% 20, uh, 20 off thanks to Nancy saving the day. And um, and then the other store, the other thrift store, it was sen every day Seniors Day. Woohoo! <laughs> so, um, so I got a discount there. So that was nice. Yeah, let's get those out of here and see what this looks like. There's quite a bit. I probably should have just cut ha cut it in half and handed half of it to Nancy because I don't think I will go through this much. But it's a nice, it's a nice heavy lace. It's uh, I like this scalloped edge on it. I like the color. That's my kind of color. And I even figured this might be nice for books that... Let me grab a book so I can show you what I'm thinking. Where's a book? Here's a book. Okay. Let's imagine. Let's imagine this book um, that the spine is in horrible condition. Actually, in this case, that spine's just lovely. Imagine... Put your imagination caps on. Spines in horrible condition. Look how nice that would look. It would strengthen the spine. It would look pretty. And I like, as I said, I really like that that edge does this rather than just straight. So I'm happy with this. And that's quite a bit for that amount of money for uh, whatever 20% off $3 is. So, uh, I'm happy with that. Let me put this book away. Over here. There we go. Um, found a box of stationery. And 
it looks like it's completely intact because it still has the plastic wrap on it. I liked, sorry about that, I liked the little scalloped edge and that it's got a little bit of pink detail on it and it's not, it might not look like it to the camera, but it's not snow white. So it's sort of an ivory color, but that's very, very pretty. So that will get put to good use. Put that there. Um, quite, quite a bit of ribbons, but I was choosy because I, ha I already, I do have a lot of ribbon. Um, but this little, it was a funny little store that we went to and all their spools of ribbons were 25 cents each. And I liked this one. Hold on, let's see. Come on. I liked this one because you can tell it used to be pink and then... I like when pink ribbon goes yellowy, so then it turns into kind of a shell pink. When it's so old, it kind of goes yellowy. This one, there's not much there, but I love it. It's so tiny, and it's just got a, come on, it's got a little bit of gold on it. Let's come up close. Look at how delicate that is. Isn't that pretty? That just looks so Victorian to me. I wish there was more of it, but I will tip for 25 cents. I'll take that. Now this one I ended up actually needing, and I'll show you in a second what I'm going to use it on because we're actually going to get that done. So it's burgundy with a little bit of a little bit of sparkle on the edge. And then this one is an ivory color with a little sparkle on the edge. I just love these ones for Christmas journals. I might as well leave that alone. This one hasn't even been opened. So I'm happy with that. So that came to a dollar. Uh, what else? Did I get anything at the thrift store? Oh, I got this book of Shakespeare. And it has Love's, Lab Love's Labor Lost. Is the whole thing called? Romeo and Juliet, The Sonnets, Taming of the Shrew. I like that. My namesake is in that one. And it's quite old. Here, let me hold it up. So there's a little profile of himself. I love this cover. Very, very pretty. And it is quite old. 1885. And it's in very nice condition. The paper is quite nice. And I will definitely be able to use the guts and the cover. I love when I can. Yeah, I love Slaver's Lost. Um, this is the kind of book where the guts are really wonderful to put into new journals or for collaging. Cause look at how nice that coloring is. 1885. It should be gorgeous by now. And as well, I love the, the various, um, plays that are, that happen to be in this volume. So I'm happy with that book, and it was a dollar, <laughs> one dollar. At the, at the thrift, no, 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 pardon me. At the scrapbooking store. Oh, I got this, uh, I'm staring right at it. I got this uh, Martha Stewart uh, cutting mat. I love when I can find cutting mats at thrift stores because I'm already hard on them anyways and then I don't worry about trying to keep them too precious. If I paid a pittance for it, I can just go ahead and keep mucking them up. Um, so this is this is a Martha Stewart one. Oh, it's upside down. Let's turn her around. There we go, Martha. So happy with this. Um, then at the scrapbooking store, I got a massive bottle, well, not too huge, but a big bottle of uh, art glitter glue. I wanted to make sure I had enough for the upcoming winter because, and for those of you who aren't aware of this, art glitter glue, if you live in a cold climate, they will not ship it in the winter time because it cannot freeze. Freezing ruins it. I've often wondered what happens to it. I might leave some out this winter or put some in the freezer. I don't have to wait till winter time. I might just put a little bit in the freezer and see what it what 
is it that happens to it? Maybe once it freezes solid and then it thaws out, it never is quite the same texture again. <gasps> now I'm curious. Anyhow, I uh, got a stencil that looks like a lace doily. So uh, I spotted Nancy looking at this in the store and they only had one. And uh, so I started doing my, you know, the Jedi mind trick. And I'm saying, Nancy, put it back. Put it back, Nancy, put it back. You don't want that, Nancy, because you make beautiful lace tea dyed paper. And she put it back. And then I went over and grabbed it because I do not make beautiful lace tea dyed paper. <laughs> that woman has got mad skills when it comes to... Um, Hold on, I'm just getting some paper when it comes to tea dyeing with and use lace. Oh, and she found, oh wait, no, I'm not going to tell you. She, Nancy's allowed to do her own thrift hauls, but she got something really good. And it's, it's, she found a unicorn. I'm going to put it that way. Found a unicorn when she went thrifting. And they just leap out at her. This particular kind of unicorn just leaps out at her. Okay, it looks like either side. Let's see. Let's see what this stencil looks like. We had so much fun, you guys. Oh my goodness. Or I did. I think she did because she, we certainly just, there was never a quiet, there was no, never a lull in the conversation. And we seem to have a similar routine. We've both had enough by 10 at night. And she beat me up every single morning I got up and she was already up. Um, one morning she had gone out, got Tim Hortons and been back again. And I was completely unaware. And I'm usually up by seven at the latest. All right, let's see. Yes! Yes! Oh, I'm so happy. Yay! Um, yeah, the, and, and the house was lovely, love, lovely and clean, lovely location. Hold on, let me pull that up. Isn't that pretty? Very happy with that. Um, I certainly feel like I got the better end of the deal. It was closer to my house. Nancy really, really had to, had to, had big travel time. So I'm grateful to her for being willing to do that. Um. Maybe next time, Nancy, maybe next time we'll choose somewhere a little bit more. There we go. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. Hold on. <coughs> oh, pardon me. Um, maybe like Niagara region. There's lots of nice little cottages, uh, houses that can be rented on Airbnb and through Niagara vacation rentals. Um, and that would certainly, I think, probably be about equal for both of us. I know that's about two hours for me. Um, so maybe we can, maybe we could do that next time. Um, I certainly don't even mind in the winter time, snuggle in and, and just work on books. That'd be fun. Um, I needed some of these for watercoloring. It just, it's just, um, a little pipette they're called, and you can lift up water and plop it down. Or lift up paints and plop it down, or ink, uh, sometimes to fill fountain pens, that sort of thing. Um, I needed a cup. I didn't. I didn't need a ton of them, and they were selling them. You could buy as many as you needed for thirty cents each, and that's a great deal. I was out this morning because uh, if any of you saw my Instagram, my my. Um, three-in-one glue the the sugar bell bottle cracked down near the bottom and three-in-one glue spilled all inside a Tupperware type bin I was very lucky nothing got ruined the only tragedy is losing the sugar bell bottle and losing probably about a half a bottle of three-in-one which it's quite expensive up here it's not it's not a cheap glue if you live in Canada and then, of course, my bulk barn didn't have any sugar bell bottles. They just had these Wilton ones. And I've never used a Wilton one, but it's certainly easy to squeeze. And the hole doesn't look too huge. The hole certainly doesn't look bigger than what 
the actual three-in-one bottles. They look about the same. Actually, this looks a little smaller than uh, the three-in-one. So, um, worth a try. I wonder if I got these mixed up. Oh, well. Um, so I'm going to give it a try. It was These weren't that expensive. And if not, I'll have to go over to, look, to Michael's. I know for sure I can get the Sugar Bell bottles at Michael's, but I don't have a local Michael's. It's two, two towns over that way. Um, and I just as soon not have to go out anywhere for a few days. I want to stay in and I want to finish what I was working on. Oh, I found this tin too. Thrifting. Oh, jeepers. I already was putting things away. Oh, come on. Come on. There we go. Isn't that cute? A little Scotty dog taking West Highland. Uh, is it? Or is that just a bad looking cat? Now I can't tell. It's a little weird. I think it's a Scotty dog taking care of some kitty cats. Who knows? Um, it's just a, I just love handy little small tins. And that one's very cute. So it was um, 25 cents as well, I think. Nancy uh, shared a few goodies with me. Um, she had a bunch of these little cards, so she shared a whole bunch with me, so I'm very happy with them. They're like place cards if you were having a Christmas dinner. And then you fold it in half, and it, but that would be fun in a Christmas journal. And I love that the other side has color on it. Look at that. Isn't that nice? It's not just pure white. So I was very happy that she was willing to share these with me. That's very nice. These will get used. Um, she was... I've got to not give away all for what if she wants to do a video. But she, I was very proud of how ruthless she was. Now, I was ruthless. I just... I had time the week before. And um, I packed up and donated a lot of Christmas gear that I knew that I wouldn't use. I, I know the style of Christmas that I enjoy working with and I don't necessarily enjoy working with like cutesy. Um, I really enjoy more of a Victorian style Dickens trying to make it look old and Victorian and I also enjoy doing um, winter solstice journals. So I, I sort of, I know what my heart is drawn to. And I know with the stash I have, I know the stuff that I'm just not going to use. And so I must admit, I was ruthless the week before. She brought hers with her and then made the choice there. And I like her thinking because she said, we can take it to a thrift store that we that isn't local so we won't go back and buy back our own stuff. <laughs> Anyhow, she had this, and I like this. I hope that's showing up. They're just tiny little tree charms, but they're little gold ones. And I thought, wouldn't they look cute along, pinned along a lace uh, edges of a journal or sewn in um, onto them? So I was happy to take that off of her hands. Now, you guys, this came home with me. We talked back forth on what to do with this journal and she I must admit I envy her strength she said no I am not going to I won't be making a journal out of this uh, and I need to part with it and maybe I need to have it on my shelf for a couple of years <laughs> um, but part of me looks at it and thinks maybe there is someone out there Maybe there's like a, a new, a person who's just starting out wanting to start writing about their family Christmases. So they want to be able to write 20 Christmases into one book. This would, this is the book that would do it, right? And I think I could make it, right now it's, it's not an old book, but I think I could make it look quite aged. A little bit of ink, a little bit of lace. What is this? This is 2001. Let's see. 
Yeah, 2001. So it's 20 years old. But it looks like it's never, ever, ever been used. So I'll think about it. The difficult thing about doing a journal with this size of a book that's two and a half inch spine is how much paper it will require to make this journal. It will need a lot, a lot of paper. We'll see. We'll see. I couldn't not do it. Now my happy mail when I got home. Oh, I bought something else at the I keep looking around and finding things. <laughs> um I spotted these at the um at the glitter and ink store. It was called a scrapbooking store. And I grabbed this one. It's navy blue. And I'm already really, really enjoying it. I do enjoy my, um, I use flower frogs for a lot of my pens and things. Where's my frog? Here's a frog right here. These glass flower frogs, they're very handy for, uh, I use them for my paint brushes and my pens and markers. Um, but you do have to be careful if you're putting like scissors in there because you could either chip the flower frog or damage your scissors, your scissor points. And um, this is just nice, soft, smooshy, smooshy silicone. So um, I thought I'll give that a go. And Nancy spotted it and said, hmm, I think I like that. And she went over to the wall and they had pink and you know the woman loves pink and so we both came home with one of these and so far i'm very very happy with it it's not too big and bulky it's not taking up space um i ordered before i left sari silk for the first time in my life i've never ordered sari silk and i thought i'm going to support a small canadian business i'll put the link to the etsy shop down below i think it was very very um reasonable but it wasn't what i expected i do think i ordered the wrong thing but it was a happy accident as bob ross would say i think i ordered the wrong width um this arrived and it was really tight and air you know like it was all the air was sucked out so it was this tiny little package and as i started unraveling it it just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger and when i saw it i thought oh this doesn't look like those big glorious ribbons tattery ribbons like you see on mrs cog's journals and that and uh, as it turns out it is only it's only about an inch wide yeah it's an inch wide but i realized i i quickly figured out that it just needs to be dampened a bit and it flattens out and looks just like crinkly almost like bias tape this huge bundle huge can you see i can't fit it in the screen was 15 dollars, and that included shipping so huge deal i i was hoping i got it in time so that i could share some with nancy but when i think about it here's my december dailies from last year and this is what I love doing, as many of us do, with bias tape, wrinkling it up and roughing up the edges and using that as ties for on journals. Well, this is going to be perfect. She has all kinds of colors. I chose, if you're interested, this is what's called, oh, I got ink on my hands. This is what she calls antique white. And it really is sort of an ivory color. And so I already did some that I just, I simply um ran a little bit of I held it under the sink ran some water down it then I used my fingers and straightened it out like this and hung it over a chair and let it dry and you know what I'm very happy with this it as it turns out um I like this I think it will make very pretty to put on tags like ratty little ribbons I may try and tea dye some and see what it looks like but I already am happy with the color I don't think it necessarily needs to be tea dyed and this is my favorite color to be working in, working with lately. So I'm very happy with all this, as it turns out. If any of you have suggestions for me 
where to order from. I still would like to get some wider to make a, a heavier. Um, unless what they're doing is making their bows by putting lots of them together like that. And I'm just not seeing it right on the camera. Because I keep, I have that in mind too. I'm not sure. Um, I would really, really welcome your comments down below. If you could educate me a bit more on what I'm looking for with Sari Silk and perhaps even where to order from. It seems to be this person that I ordered from, from this Canadian shop. Um, this seems to be the only width she has. So I don't know whether, as I said, if there is a wider width you can purchase and maybe there's a different seller out there who sells a wider width. But in the meantime, I'm very happy, happy, happy accident here. And, uh, and I certainly got, um, <laughs> I got enough to last me a long time. Now I'm looking here because I wanted to share um, just a little bit of work that I got done. I think, I think I may have to do like a little quick 10 minute follow up video to this one. Um, because I worked on two journals, uh, December daily journals like this one that I made for myself last year. If you remember this, this frilly, beautiful baby, I did the basics for someone else who may want to make their own December journal, December dailies journal like this one. So that's, that'll be following this one. Probably watch for it in about half an hour later on this morning. Keep an eye out for it. And, uh, and you can see what I got done. Okay, take care. Thanks for joining me. And uh, I hope uh, you have a great rest of your day. We'll talk soon. Bye.